Trying to figure out how much fertilizer to apply in your vegetable garden can be frustrating. We got all kinds of options. So let's break it down and make it simple for everyone to understand. So let's break it down to three different categories. We're going to talk about strictly granular fertilizers. We're going to talk about hybrids that can go soluble or granular. And we're going to talk about just the solids. The first one we're going to talk about is granular. Strictly just the granular fertilizer that cannot be made soluble. And we're going to look at our all-in-one 10, 10, 10. And this is it right here. Now this is a granular fertilizer that's fairly consistent in size right here. But the neat thing about this granular right here is it has all the nutrients in each granular so it's not separated out. So you have nitrogen, you have phosphorus, you have potassium, that's your 10, 10, 10, and you have micronutrients in this fertilizer. And every granular has some of that in there so it won't separate out. You can only put this out as a granular. You cannot put this in your fertilizer injector or you cannot dissolve this right here. Then we have our complete organic fertilizer. This is one we use a lot right here and we really like this one also. If you want to grow organically, this is the one for you. It's a composted hen manure. There again, it's granular, granulated right there. It's got a little odor to it because it's a chicken manure there. But you can only put this out as a granule. It is not water soluble. So you can either pre-plant with these granulars or you can do side dress with them. Now these three here, I call them the hybrids because this is calcium nitrate, ammonia sulfate, and chelaea nitrate. These can go either way. They can be water soluble or they can be granular. You can apply them as a granular and put them in your injector as a water soluble. All three of these are what we call prill. Nice little consistent white prills there that are water soluble. So when water hits these things, they're going to dissolve. But yet these prills are large enough and consistent enough that we can handle them and we can put them at, as a side dress. Now the key here is the three that we carry are what we call greenhouse grade. For these type fertilizers right here, to be considered hybrids, water soluble and granular, they have to be greenhouse grade. So if you don't buy them from us and you buy them somewhere else and you want to use them as a soluble product, you got to make sure that you buy the greenhouse grade of these products here for them to be water soluble. Otherwise, it's just going to be a granular type product. Now, strictly a water soluble product as the two I have here, and this is the 2020-20, this is the one we said the majority of. It's a great product right there. This is strictly a soluble product. And the reason being is because the consistency of the product is real small. It's kind of like sand. So it would be nearly impossible for us to take this product right here and put it out in a granular application such as a side dress or a pre-plant that was not water soluble because we just be, couldn't be consistent with it. Now, this product right here, when water hits it, boom, it's immediately soluble right here. And it does dissolve a little bit better in warm water than it does cold water, but it dissolves readily and quickly. And that's the reason it's classified strictly as a water-soluble product. We also have a natural product here called Fish and Guano. This also a soluble product, water-soluble. So you can use this in your injector right here. And this is a natural fertilizer right here that is a 962. You know, it it being a fish product, it's going to settle out a little bit, so it may settle a little bit of solids in the bottom. So you want to make sure you shake this up good when you use it in your fertilizer injector. All right, so let's talk about how we would use these fertilizers. And we're going to start with the granular fertilizers, and that would be the 10, 10, 10, all in one, and the complete organic. You would use both of them the exact same way. I use these as pre-plant and as side dress. So let me get my glasses on here where I can see. And let's look at the application rate of the 10, 10, 10. All right, so for a side dress, you would apply seven pounds per hundred foot of row or one cup per five foot of row. So you would simply, this is a cup right here, you would simply take this right here. Now we're side dressing these plants here as you see, and we're gonna walk along the side of it with something, this is a one cup 
measuring cup, which makes it kind of easy. And we're just going to sprinkle this right here, right next to the plant. Now we don't want to go directly on top of the plant because we can get some burn if we do that. Ideally, we want this fertilizer to land right next to the plant there. And we want to get it as even as possible. Now, nothing's perfect here, but we want to try to do the best we can with getting it even. And we would just kind of shake this out and scatter this down the row right here. Now, if I'm doing the pre-plant, which I like to do, especially with the complete organic here, what we would do is kind of lay off where our row is going. And we will band this, pretty much shake it out, just like we did on the side dress. But we're going to shake it out to a little bit further area right here. And we're going to shake out down through there. And we're going to use a rate, the application rate is going to be per thousand square feet. And we're going to shake it out just like this right here. And we're going to come back and we're going to work this into the soil. Now the application rate on a lot of these fertilizers right here are by square footage. And that's pretty simple. You take your entire garden area that you're going to do here and multiply it. Say so if you got a 10 by 10 area there, you want to multiply that 10 by 10 and you come up with 100 square feet. So if your rows, like these onions here, are on standard planting width, a normal standard planting width for onions is anywhere from 24 to 36 inch rows. Then you're going to use that right there and you're going to multiply that by the entire area there that your garden is on. And that's how you're going to come up with your application rate. Where you could run into trouble with this right here is, is if you did not plant on a standard row spacing. That could kind of get off a little bit, but as long as you're staying with standard row spacing on particular crops here, you would use the overall area there as your square footage there, and you would work with what your application rate is on either one of these to that area there. Example of that, corn. Corn, normal spacing on corn is 30 inches to 36 inches apart. So as long as you got 30 to 36 inches apart there, you would use your overall area there. And on each side of the outer rows, you're going to leave you 30 to 36 inch rows, whatever you're using there. And you would use that overall area there as your area of your square foot. A lot of people get confused with that right there, but that's the way you do it. Now, if you're planting your corn on six foot rows, which is not standard, that's a problem there. You're going to have to work with that a little bit and cut that in half to get the optimal application rate on those. All right, well, these hybrids here that I call hybrids, you know, they're the calcium nitrate, the chelate nitrate, and ammonia sulfate. These prills here that are water soluble, but you could also use them as side dress. I side dress with these a lot, especially if I'm not using drip tape on such things like onions or whatever. So they do have a purpose as side dressing. I don't use them for pre-plant because most of all these are just strictly nitrogen sources and they're readily available, they're fast acting. So I don't think they work well as a pre-plant. I do think they work well as a side dress when you need to get that nitrogen to that plant quick. So let's look at the application rate on the calcium nitrate right here. It says 10 to 15 pounds per thousand square foot. So there again, if we've got a 10 by 10 plot of corn on normal row spacing, that would be 100 square foot and we would work 10 to 15 pounds per 100. So we would divide the 10 to 15, that's a range there, down to 100. So it would be 1 to 1.5 pounds per 100 square foot. You kind of get where I'm going there. So let's see here. We got a foliar spray mix, which I don't do a lot of. It's two to four teaspoons per gallon if you want to do that. And then the side dress down here that we've talked about before here, where you're going to use this as a granular product and you're going to go down and lay it right beside that plant, is one pound per hundred foot of row. So you would weigh you out one pound and go down a hundred foot of row and you would kind of get an idea of how thick you should put it there. Now let's talk about applying the calcium nitrate, ammonia sulfate, and chelate nitrate through the injector as an injection and the rate you should use. So the instructions on the calcium nitrate says apply 10 to 15 pounds per thousand square foot throughout the plant's life. Spoon feeding, or is what we say at application rates or per application. Spoon feed or application by applying at two week intervals, every two weeks, five pounds per thousand square foot at a time. 
So any one of these three right here, a general guideline on how much of this you would put in your injector per thousand square foot would be somewhere between four and five pounds. Now again, that's general guidelines because corn's gonna take a lot more fertility and a lot more nitrogen than beans are. So you kind of got to balance that to what crop you're putting out there, but that gives you a good starting point where to start at for these type fertilizers. The 2020 is by far our most popular water-soluble product, and for good reason, it's just a great product. Let's talk about how much you would put in your injector application rates. Now, this is general guidelines, again, because different crops have different fertility requirements. But normally speaking, about four pounds per application per thousand square feet. Now, this cup right here, and that is a cup, weighs about a half a pound. So you would put eight of these in your injector, finish filling with water, and that would be enough fertility per time on a thousand square feet. There again, corn's gonna take a lot more than beans, so you're gonna have to adjust that somewhat to what crop you have out there. And there again, how your crops respond to this fertilizer. That gives you a great starting point on how to use this product. On the fish guana right here, the instructions are not real clear how you would inject this here, but let's look at it and see what it says. It says use a half fluid ounce per gallon of water or a half pint in a hose-in sprayer applied monthly during growing seasons. So I think you could take a half pint of this right here and put in your injector and you would be fine per thousand square feet. So just to give you an example there, you would put a, uh, you'd fill your injector, which is a gallon, you'd leave it about a, uh, four ounces or so shy, pour you a half a pint of this in there, shake it up good, and that would be a good starting point for using this in the injector. You could probably butt that up a little bit if your plants were maturing up and their nitrogen requirements were more so, but that'd be a good starting point. So each one of these fertilizers here has their place. Some of them you use differently, but they all work well. So don't be intimidated by using granular, using some of these hybrid products that you can inject or you can use as a side dress or some of these water soluble products. Now the granular products tend to be a little slower acting than the water soluble do because they got to have water to activate them. They got to have rain or overhead irrigation to activate them, and they don't seem to dissolve all at one time, which is kind of a good thing. Now these right here, these hybrids, they're gonna be quick acting. So when water hits these products right here, boom, they're gonna to get to the plant. And of course, our water soluble, which is probably the fastest acting of all of them, when you inject this into your drip irrigation system, it's gonna be readily, and pretty much all of it's gonna be available to the plant then. And with all fertilizers, you're better off to do less than more. If you get too much fertilizer out there, you're gonna burn your plant. So I always tell people this right here, when in doubt, use less, watch your plants, see how they respond to fertilizer and you can adjust accordingly. I would put, rather put it out there at half rate and have to go back and put some more than I had burn my plants. But I hope this helps you somewhat try to figure out how to use these fertilizers and maybe you can use them to help you grow your own food.